Jared Blevins here with an overview of the last day of week 11. Um, you'll see here the spreadsheet or the markup that I use. I'm changing up the way I uh, write up my stuff. This makes it a little simpler to see what I've done sets and reps wise. You'll notice that uh, not doing a lot of sets right now um, or reps um, or exercise choices. I've cut out the uh, deadlift movement at the advice of my coaches on this day. So now I am squatting three days a week, uh, doing some sort of bench movement um, six days a week. Uh, but that's, you know, two times per day, uh, three days a week, so six times total for the week. And um, then I'm only doing two deadlift movements, and one of those is those kind of start-at-the-top Romanian stiff leg half-and-half -half exercises that I do uh, where I don't use a lot of weight. So definitely uh, starting to cut the volume uh, down and raise the intensity a little bit um, from where I've been to uh, get peaked going into this meet. Uh, the pause squats on this day went better than I expected. Um, I decided on the last rep of some of these sets to hold it down there a little longer um, and really work since I was using less weight than I've used on some other days. I did do, I think, 545 for either a set of four or five at some point in this training cycle. And this here is only 525, um, though I definitely know these were cleaner reps than that set of 545 I did. Um, definitely trying to clean up my reps a little bit, make sure depth is on point, make sure I pause some of my bench press uh, reps, um, and just start to get ready for competition in general. Um, being that it's really, I only have three training weeks left, and then a deload week into the meet. So it's getting really close, and I'm getting excited. I'm starting to have uh, dreams about it, uh, but I haven't gotten to my lifting yet in my dreams. All I do is register, it seems like, so we'll see if I can uh, make, make some of that turn into reality here. Uh, come May 23rd. In any case, one of the questions that I received uh, to talk about in these videos is how I program. And this is an interesting question. Uh, I've programmed differently at a lot of different times in my life. Um, I've done linear periodization. I've done west side style uh, training. Uh, I've done the cube. I've done uh, concentric acceleration training, cat training, uh, with a lot of sub-maximal weights done for speed. Um, I've done some R RTS, uh, RTE-based training and auto-regulated some of the cube methods, started mixing programs, um, and now I'm having uh, coaches coach me uh, with TSA. And what I'll say is I think I'm probably on the best program I've ever been on, and it's also one of the simplest. Uh, one of the things that I've realized is that programming can just be made too complicated and too confusing, and though I'm not going to cover it fully in this video, I will do an overview of the training program that I did through TSA and explain some of the choices and also why having a uh, simple training program is often extremely effective, uh, even brutally effective. And I was doing the same uh, three days pretty much for four weeks. I would do a four week block on a volume protocol where I would do the same three days every week for four weeks. And I did that again with another volume block and then with an intensity block. So I've only changed the exercises and sets and reps in the last 12 weeks three times. In any case, I'll explain more on that when that video comes out. Um, but it's one of those things where if you put in the work and you just stick with a plan that is effective, you don't need to change it a lot. You don't need to have uh, crazy undulating programs that have all these volume changes week to week, day to day. It can be pretty simple. It really can. It's more about the effort that you bring. Uh, than having the perfect set and rep scheme. And uh, I'll talk more about that, but it's a, it's a consistent truth that I've found over and over again is that if you put in the work, you put in quality work with a good program, then you're going to have results eventually. You just have to keep putting in that effort. And you'll have good days and bad days, but the results will come. In any case, I hope wherever you're at, you're doing well. Blessings.